Okay, so first you're going to jump over to Kali.org. You hit the download section. We're going to scroll down here to the trusted and contributed images by Offensive Security. And you will see here that we have Kali Linux ARM Raspberry Pi. You can download from the direct link, but it goes quite slow. Uh, I got it from the torrent. Alright folks, so first we're going to take a look at how you can write this to the SD card in Windows. You're going to get Win32 Disk Imager. Go ahead and open that puppy up. And uh, it is finding my disk E, which is the removable disk, the SD card. <coughs> and the image file is actually on my external hard drive here we go and that's about it yes I want to continue now this is going to take a long time <coughs> okay nope, there we go our right is successful now we will exit now we will eject off to the races with our Raspberry Pi. Now I am going to be writing this to the SD card. Command prompt, I'm going to uh, change directory to my desktop. <laughs> and then going to use DD. Well, first we should uh, hit up mount. So we're going to look in mount, and I can see right here that slash dev slash sdb is that SD card that for some reason is named ipcop boot. Apparently I was trying to install ipcop off of it at one point, and just never got around to renaming the SD card. <laughs> so we will now use dd. Use dd. Uh, input file is going to be kali rpi.image. And output file, we're going to go and I'll put that straight to the device file for sdb. And we are going to <coughs> bs equal 512k and I think that's about all we need there folks read only file system awesome we will try uh, sudo ch own dash h Let's try it. Well, that's looking a little more promising. So apparently we did not have ownership of that SD card within the Linux system. So if you have the same problem when you try DD, go ahead and pseudo chone it so now this next part is going to take uh, <clears throat> somewhere between five and ten minutes maybe even more because I have a slow card in there all right folks here we go we got this guy put it right in there and well don't get confused it's the Wi-Fi pineapple I'm going to be hooking it up to. So there we go, we got that. And grab the power cord. Power cord goes right here. And we'll wait a moment. 
moment. Hopefully we'll get a signal. There we go. Back up a little bit. Doing some boot ups. Fastest bugger. The Raspberry Pi symbol there. And here we are. It wants my Kali login. So, go for root. Which is. Alright, that's good. Enter. Now, what's the password? EOO. R, enter, and what's it telling us? Start X. All right. Well, here we have it, folks. Kali Linux. Bring up a terminal. We've got our. Uh, I don't think you can see it correctly, but applications menu. I click on that. Oh, this is XFCE. Security tools, all that wonderful awesome goodness is actually just running off of this little $40 Raspberry Pi right here, running off an SD card, which is then coupled to my Wi-Fi Pineapple. So, looks like a dangerous duo. Now, it's time to go to bed. Mission accomplished. Of course, folks, don't forget to jump on over there to ultimatepeter.com where you can check out the latest and greatest tutorials on hacking, penetration testing, and other sorts of awesome technological wonders. That was ultimatepeter.com.